from Say Anything and Gross Point Blank to Being John Malkovich and Grace is Gone, John Cusack has had a long career as a Hollywood leading man who takes risks. He's back in the doomsday disaster film, 2012. We gotta get to the airport. Take the freeway, it'll be half the time. I saw you in there someplace. John Cusack is with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. Good to have you here. It's kind of like Earthquake meets uh, The Day the Earth Stood Still meets uh, The Poseidon Adventure. Yeah. Something. I, uh, well, actually, that's not, some of those don't actually apply. Yeah. There's, uh, Shelley Winters doesn't make an appearance, but besides that, <laughs> there's about, yeah. It's the same, uh, same milieu. Same, same milieu. There's a lot of stuff going on in this yeah. movie. So there's disaster movies and then there's the end of days. And that means that there's no place you can escape when right. there's not a disaster. So right, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's the big one. Because in this movie, you're, there's a lot of kind of, it's not exactly supernatural, it's this, it's this thing that people have been talking about for centuries that the Mayans predicted. That's right. I mean, every high school kid in the world knows 2012. I mean, that's when the world is going to end. That's right. And the, the, the prophecies in Nostradamus and the Mayan calendar. And right. Those are the two big ones. Right? Yeah. Now, were you hip to any of that stuff? Was that any of that on your radar, per se? Yeah, it was. Uh, I was always into all that stuff. And, of course, you know, growing up as a lapsed Catholic, I was very aware of uh, the Book of Revelations and... Uh, uh, the sim symbolism and sure. imagery, all that stuff. I mean, yeah. that's always in everybody's consciousness, too. So That was the only thing as I'm watching the movie, and there are a lot of disaster scenes happening. It's like, I don't really want to think about I mean, the pictures are amazing. <laughs> there's a lot of people dying out there. Yeah. There's a little, there's a little, yeah, yeah. A little of that. Uh, there's an anniversary. you got to see this. So we're paging through our New York Post. You probably, you might have missed this page. This seems like maybe a Halloween. No, this is better. Look at this. Oh. 20th anniversary DVD. Looks yeah. Like they rate this as like the great love story. The great, the man saying, I'm, I'm laying it all out there for you, babe. Yeah, I guess now it would be like an iPod, right? <laughs> Not a boombox. Yeah. 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 Does it seem like 20 years ago already? Um, some mornings, yeah, I, I can feel a little bit <laughs> a little older than others. But, uh, yeah. I'm always I'm amazed that uh, people still remember the movie, but it was a really fun time in my life, and I was proud of the movie and yeah. loved it. So it's still it's, a lot it's, of it. It's a nice uh, it's a nice thing that people remember something you did. One last question, very quickly. So many of the movies you've made are more cerebral. This is this is an action film. What was it like for you to have these action scene after action scene after action scene? Did, because uh, I'm going to say, I'm, I don't think you've probably done lots and lots of that sort of stuff. I did one a long time ago um, uh, called Con Air. Oh, okay. So it was fun, though. I mean, I like doing physical things. It's just usually, you know, if you do a movie like this that's this kind of a the high class, mm -hmm. big studio movie, they've usually given it to, you know, Harrison Ford or, you know, another, the biggest box box office guy. So I, I snuck in the back door somehow and got this one. So this, I was could, lucky. Be a, this could be a game changer for you. Hey, well, well, could be worse. Yeah, there you go. Great to see you. You Thanks. too, sir. Thank you very, very much for My stopping pleasure. by.